things first. We highly recommend that you establish a core group of three to four members. Why a group, not just a director? Well, of course, there's always the acting director, the person who certainly takes on the brunt of the recruiting and the enrollment process. But having a core group, or what we like to call a curriculum committee or a decision-making committee, whatever you go with, helps to share the burden of decision-making that happens throughout the year. This builds confidence amongst the other members of the group, and they trust that there is a group who really considers the decisions that are being made and all of the pros and cons. There are sample bylaws provided could say this is the fun part. Finding a facility, right? It really isn't that hard. Most of us, when we think about the drudgery of having to find a facility, quickly become discouraged and a lot of co-ops fall right here. They don't get up and running because of the facility issue. But first and foremost, if it's a good facility, if it's a good place, we want our co-ops to be in the parish and part of that parish community, not only in the people who are in the co-op, but also even under the same building. Uh, so talk to your parish priest, talk to the secretaries in the office and see if it's a possibility first to have your co-op there. If it's not, well, it's time to start asking around. The number one rule is that just because, you know, a, a local church or, you know, some building doesn't have a big sign on it advertising for rent for homeschool co-op, that doesn't mean you shouldn't ask. There's never any harm in just picking up the phone and calling and asking. And it might be that they haven't considered opening up their facility to a homeschool group, but maybe they will now, and then they'll deliberate what kind of pricing structure to offer. And there's some flexibility there. And because there's flexibility when it comes to contacting these other facilities, we have provided a sample facility agreement form uh, that's your agreement and terms for using their facility as well as, you know, some way for them to feel that there is, again, an official agreement and not just the word of the homeschool group. Once you have that facility and you have clearance with the facility, you want to verify the day and the time that you're going to use the facility with them first. You want to do that before you start advertising to everyone you're meeting Wednesdays at 9 o'clock, right? You want to know that that works. So finding the facility and then choosing your day and time in cooperation with that facility. With that information, you can then create your calendar. Now, for the calendar, we've provided a ready-to-go calendar for you, but if, for example, you can't meet on Mondays and you can't meet 12 to 3 for your facility, you will need to make your own alterations to that calendar to provide to your group. So, although the calendar we provide is one of the handouts for parent information meetings, uh, be aware that you're probably going to have to alter that a little bit. Now, after all that's done, you need to find out from your facility first if you're required to have a group insurance of your own. Sometimes, under the facility's insurance plan, you're covered uh, just by that facility agreement form. Sometimes, that facility's insurance company wants you to have your own insurance, so you'll need to call around about that. Now, the information you'll need to get insurance quotes are the estimated size of your group, go ahead, estimate high. We'll have 80 kids, count the babies. A facility type, they'll want to know that. They'll want to know days and times and types of activities. Well, that's all covered already. You've figured out your day and your time. Types of activities, you know that from the curriculum. And then they might ask that you have a waiver of responsibility as well, in addition. Um, now, sometimes, a facility's insurance group will say, you don't have to have your insurance, 
own insurance as long as you have that waiver of responsibility. So we provide a waiver of responsibility form for you.